Welcome back to my channel. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles, and today we're gonna to be talking about emergency backpacks. Now this could be an emergency backpack that you could put in your car, um, especially if you travel a lot. Um, this also could be an emergency pack that you would have in your home uh, that's ready to go in a grab and go situation. Uh, this will be uh, part of my grab and go series that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, so I figured I would start off with the backpack since it's um, basically universal into what you would use it for as far as if you want it in your car or you can take it in your car every day, um, you know, and bring it home at night, um, whatever you choose to do. I guess it also depends on your climate and, you know, how hot your vehicle and stuff is um, of what you really want to put in there. But um, just to give you an idea. So, on that note, I do have a backpack that we're going to load this gear into. I'm going to show you how I kind of do that. We're going to go through a few quick things here real quick. And um, probably the easiest way to do this would be uh, for me to start to go over some stuff and we'll just start loading the backpack up. Now, this is just your standard um, it's a 40 liter pack. Uh, actually, excuse me. It's a 60, uh, 60 liter pack. Uh, it does have a bunch of several different compartments. Um, it has some side pouches. It's a molly pack. So if you did want to eventually uh, get something uh, an additional outside, little clip-ons and stuff, uh, you do have all the mollies that you can clip this to uh, for like uh, quick type uh, items that you want to get to in a, a fast manner. Um, it, it has, you know, belts to go around your waist, nice padded shoulder straps, um, it, it's a great overall pack. So with that we're going to begin. We're going to start right with the, the center main pack. And in that pack the first thing that you want to put in there, in my opinion, is a change of clothes. Uh, shirt, pants, underwear, socks, extra t-shirt maybe. Um, something that you probably could do, which would be really good if you want to save space if you don't have such a big backpack. Um, you could take and put these into a uh, Ziploc bag and um, to ensure that you know they stay dry. Uh, my backpack is waterproof, uh, but you could also take these and roll these up. And if you have a food saver, or if you bought the space bags like they sell at Walmart that you can use like your uh, uh, vacuum cleaner on to suck the air out or if you use the space saver bags and suck them down for one it's going to take up less room because it's going to compact it for two it's going to keep them nice and dry so we're going to put those right in the bottom all right next next is food now i would suggest I think the easiest thing, if you need something, is uh, you can pick these up. Sporting goods stores, Walmart, Target, uh, um, Amazon, all those. Walmart, I find uh, they're about eight ninety eight a piece. Um, so I did, I do have a, a breakfast and a dinner, and in each one of these is uh, two servings. So basically, you could feed for the calories and nutrition. You could feed two people out of each one of these. So if you're just one person, if you have to ration it, um, you have four meals here. Also down in there, always want to have at least two bottles of water with you, you know, to get you going. Um, uh, if you want to carry more, that's fine, but these do get heavy. So you may want to uh, second guess those, carry too many, I should say. Um, if you wanted a water filtration system, um, unfortunately uh, mine is buried over there and uh, at this point in time in my uh, situation, uh, I can't really get over there to dig through and get to my other pack. Um, but you know, if you had like a wise um, uh, water filtration system and that you could, you know, clean water and stuff with, uh, that would be great. If nothing else, a stainless steel bottle, single wall stainless steel bottle. Um, this way, if you did have a fire going, you could get water, you could boil it in this, 
And this one is really nice. It has a real nice sturdy, I mean, you pull on this thing, it doesn't come off. Uh, hook right on top, it does come with a carabiner if you wanted to carry it on your backpack. Um, but you can hang this over your fire or something and boil water. That way there you can sanitize it. <clears throat> Next thing we're gonna throw in, oh, let's go right over here. <clears throat> this is a survival shack. Um, you can pick these up. I got this one at Amazon. I've seen something similar in Walmart. They don't have exactly the same one. Um, but it's just a Mylar, it's a two-person emergency uh, thermal shelter. Um, so, you know, if something happened and you broke down somewhere out in the sticks or you're, you had to walk, um, no matter, you know, what the situation is, if you needed a shelter to try to stay warm, you know, and these things are relatively cheap, uh, just something good to have at hand. Uh, if worse comes to worse, you could wrap yourself up in it and try to, you know, stay warm if it's cold out. I would also carry a, um, a mask, uh, just because you're not not knowing what the situation may be, especially for like people that are living out in say like California and same stuff like that. If you're packing a pack with for fires, um, you know having a mask on hand would probably be really handy. Uh, trying to either when you're trying to exit your house or if you were traveling and something happens and you got to leave your car and walk, at least you got something that's going to protect your mouth and your face and your so you're breathing. All right, from that point, I'm just going to put in a nice pair of gloves right into this pack right here. You know, you can pick out any kind of gloves you want. Uh, these are actually really, um, really good gloves because they have the, the hard um, rubber on the back. So like if you were cutting or something, if you slipped, you know, it's gonna help protect the back of your fingers. They do have, uh, these gloves are pretty cool. The fingertips are all, so you can use your smartphones, uh, laptop, your uh, iPads, and all that kind of stuff. And they're, they have the padded leather inside, um, but they'd be great if you had to change a tire, if you had a good wood, um, whatever, you know. All right, that pretty much does that part, the main compartment. Now, in the compartment that's right here in the front, what we're going to put in here, first and foremost, a first aid kit. Now I talk about these, I've done videos on first aid, I have a video out there. Uh, this is your standard, uh, what you get from basically Walmart, alright, it's 125 um, pieces. Um, it's an all-purpose, has your basic band-aids. Um, it does have like some creams and stuff in there uh, for burns and, and things of that nature. Uh, this is your $20 little kit. Um, you can add a few things to it if you would like. Um, I, would, I would definitely add a, at least some of the adhesive rolls that they have out now, just in case you needed to make a, um, a splint or a, a sling for somebody. But 20 bucks. You know, hopefully, you know, this is a, a getaway pack, not in a sense a survival type scenario, but this is, you know, just to help you get away from uh, whatever it is that you have to get away from. If you broke down, if you have to walk, um, you know, you, you never know what your situations and stuff are. Um, toiletries. <clears throat> now, I've got, you know, I got some ibuprofen, some deodorant, some shampoo. You can put those right down in there. Some shaving cream, uh, <clears throat> Q-tips, uh, toothbrush. Q-tips are great because you can also use these for a fire starter if uh, worse comes to worse because it is cotton on the end of them. Just remember that about Q-tips. And all these little containers and stuff, I get them at Walmart. All these small, they're just the travel size. You know, you go back to in the Walmart section there of like the health and beauty and you pick all this stuff and most of us less than a dollar. Um, container with a bar of soap and wipes. These can be used for several different things from uh, your behind, hands, um, whatever else that you may need them for. Um, but like I said, you can get all those right back in the back at 
uh, in Walmart with the health and beauty. You know, just go to the travel section like if you're going on a trip. <clears throat> All right, first aid. Now you want to make sure you get you a good, decent quality knife. Um, you know, get something that's good, that's comfortable, that you're comfortable with. Uh, you can you can pick up, you know, a, a decent beginner's knife right at Walmart. You know, um, sometimes between twenty five and fifty bucks. You know, it's just whatever you want. You don't buy some little little dinky knife or something like that. You know, you just want one good quality knife into your pack. I'm gonna put that right in with my first aid, right down in there. <clears throat> Now in with my first aid, I'm also going to throw in, um, this is made by 4Monster, these are pretty cool. Uh, this is actually a full towel, if you believe that or not. Um, it's that microfiber. Um, I actually used one of these once and uh, just to try it out because I was curious, you know. Um, acquiring minds wanted to know. So, but it worked and believe it or not, if you fold it right back up, um, you can get it back into the container it came in, which was quite amazing because we all know how that goes when you're trying to put stuff back into certain containers. Um, somebody went in and it took them forever to get it in there, and uh, now we're not getting it back. All right, so that's the two main containers right there. <clears throat> Actually... Space left in the main container, so we're going to put a couple of things in there. A standard light that runs off batteries. Now these just run off AAA batteries, and this would just be great. It's a, like a lantern. And as you can see, you pull it open. It's LED lights, and the thing is bright at nighttime. You take and you can push that right down, and it works really well. I mean, it's nice and bright. Basically, it's compact. It's hard plastic. Uh, if you wanted to carry an extra set of batteries for these, uh, they are double A's, um, that would probably be a good idea. <clears throat> now, some other couple of things. Rope. Um, I have, in every bag, everything that I have, I ha always have um, your paracord. Uh, you can buy a pack of this. I got this on Amazon. Um, and bank line. Uh, both of them are really strong. Um, this one's good for uh, tying up different things. This is good if you have to lash stuff together to make something. So if you say you had to make um, a, a, a splint for somebody, um, and you, had, you could use your adhesive tape, but you also could use some of this to help try to hold it together nice and tight so you know their broken bones in their arms or the legs aren't shifting around and everything. Um, you could also use these for building shelters and so on and so forth. There's a million things you can do with this kind of stuff. Um, so you always just want to have just a little bit of that in there. Um, like I said before, this is your emergency pack. Now I have a little pouch that's in the front that I'm going to put a few other things in. All right, we all have cell phones. Everybody's got a cell phone nowadays, all right? Cell phone, um, if you have flashlights that are... Uh, this one isn't, but if you have flashlights that are um, basically uh, you can charge them with a USB and that type of thing, um, I would suggest um, <clears throat> having a battery backup. Okay, we all know what these things look. This is a solar. This back part actually lights up too for a light. Um, you can take these. And um, they do come with a carabiner on them, so you could have it on the outside. Unless it's waterproof, I wouldn't suggest doing that. Um, but you can get these adapters now that you can plug into your cigarette lighter in your car if you're broken down in your vehicle. And um, what's really cool is you can plug uh, something in there for that you know needs a plug like this little um, device right here. You can plug that in there. But if you look really close. Can see where you have two spots for your USB that you can plug right into and this plugs right into your cigarette lighter so if something happened the car broke down and say the weather was bad and you were trying to hold out um, and your phone's going dead your flashlight so you can try to charge this stuff 
even if you run your battery dead, but if you can get these things charged before you have to leave the vehicle to get out there, um, that's a really cool thing. This is a little converter that plugs into your cigarette lighter. These are relatively inexpensive. I'll put a link up uh, to a lot of this stuff. Um, basically, you can plug this right in your cigarette lighter. It does have the USB. also has the 110 convert. So if you had in your car, say, um, an air pump, uh, one of the portable ones, you know, but that has to plug into power, not the cigarette lighter, because the power ones are much stronger. Um, you can start your car. I would start the car, plug this in your cigarette lighter, plug your air pump into here and pump up your tire to hopefully maybe get you to the next exit or to a gas station or a tire place where you can get your tire fixed or to get help. It'd be a great thing. Don't forget to have a wire charger. Um, I, I know people out there um, that have these things but don't charge them and when they run into a situation I'm not going to mention any names because the person knows who I'm talking about um, you want to make sure that you at least have the ability to charge your phone at least once in an emergency situation it could be the difference between life and death and these things are relatively inexpensive and they hold a charge for quite a long time and like I said this one that I bought right here is solar power so if the battery starts running low, I just lay it out in the sun, and it probably takes it three, four hours to charge, but I get another charge. Now, important thing to remember when, if you're gonna be traveling. Now, if something happens, we can move this bad boy up here now. If something happens and you're traveling along, and something you know goes haywire, and uh, you don't have self-service, you don't have uh, any way to make a contact the outside world and you have no idea in a sense kind of where you are you may know what road you are you may know okay we just left that town back there always carry a road map for your state period I, I encourage people to make sure that you go out and you get a road map and um, you know at least how to use it besides your phone and everything else but at least these little fold-up road maps, you can buy them in Walmart. They, they sell them, you know, you go in there and everybody, no matter which state you're in, you know, you can pick up one for just your state. You know, you spend three, four bucks on it and you have it. Throw it in your glove box. Um, we're gonna put this one right beside of our emergency pack. So no matter what happens, I always have a road map in case that my phone or something goes dead and I'm not really sure where I'm at and so I know how to get out of the situation I'm in. Um, another great thing to have, Right in the Rain makes these. Uh, you can write on this paper. It's an amazing thing. And if it gets wet, it doesn't run, it doesn't get ruined. The only thing, way you can destroy this is if you burn it. So say you had to leave your car, all right? And you know that maybe somebody may be coming looking for you. Um, you could write on here a note with the direction that you're headed in. Um, I would also suggest maybe people have a compass in your backpack. Um, but <clears throat> uh, write on your note which direction you're headed in, where you're trying to be. You can look on your map and say, I'm going to be trying to make it to Jacksonville. Um, um, I'm on this road. Um, I plan on staying on this road. Uh, this way here, leave that on your car, put it underneath your windshield wiper, uh, whatever you have to do. But when uh, the authorities or somebody that's looking for you find your vehicle and sees this note, they know, okay, they're going for that direction. And it gives them at least an idea of where you may be. could be very important. And if things got that bad, I guess, in a sense, you could write down your last will and testament. But... If you're ready and you're prepared, that ain't gonna happen. All right, next thing, next couple of things here. A good, sturdy, waterproof flashlight. These things, you can find any type of flashlight you would like. This zooms in, zooms out, it gets really bright. Here, we'll get it up there and I can zoom it right in and see, you can see. Um, you can, it's all in your preference and on what you can afford. Um, these little flashlights could also dub also because of the way that the end and everything is indented. If need be, if you're in a, 
a bad situation, a little self-defense tool. I mean, they're solid metal. Um, I took this one because it says it can withstand just about anything. Um, and I threw it up against uh, the wooden fence out back, picked it up and it still works. So I guess that part of their, their saying was really good. So you want a good flashlight? You know, you could, uh, I would also maybe put in here because I'm getting really hooked on the headlamps. I love them. Um, I can't say enough about headlamps. They're just awesome. Um, maybe have a headlamp in here. Uh, Multi-tool. Uh, any type of multi-tool you want. Uh, if you're just beginning out, you know, you can pick up a halfway decent multi-tool uh, in Walmart. Uh, if you go down the camping section, yeah, they got them there. But if you walk over to the hardware section, they have better ones over there. And that's where I got this one. Now, I did pay, um, I think, like four bucks more for this going over to the hardware store. But it offered a lot more, and to me, it just looked like it was built a lot better. So, you know, sometimes when you're looking in the camping section, and depending on what you're looking for, walk over to the hardware section because, you know, especially for your uh, bank line and your um, any of your rope, um, zip ties, that kind of stuff, uh, they, they may have some in the camping, but you go over to the hardware and you get more for your money, and they have a lot better selection. Duct tape. You know, throw, you could throw some duct tape in here and everything else. So that concludes that slide there. Now we spin this bad boy around. We got one pocket left to go. And this pocket is going to be, I always have one of these. <laughs> I leave them in every one. Uh, the little candles. You never know. Um, this is going to be our fire starting. And uh, you can pick this up. I got these on Amazon, a four pack. Um, I don't remember what they cost. Uh, I've had them for a little while. Uh, these were actually the ones that were on, um, hold on a second, I'll tell you. I can't read the small print. Uh, these were on Shark Tank, and uh, they're, they're now carried by Amazon. Um, I haven't seen them in water, uh, Walmart yet, uh, but it's instant fire, fire start, military grade. Uh, it lights up to four fires out of this package. Now, all you need is approximately an eighth of a cup of this stuff and put it into a pile, and then you can light it with your, your Bic lighter, your waterproof matches, your regular matches, and uh, you get a fire going, and then you start putting your small little twigs and kindling on there, and then build from there as the fire goes along. Don't start the other way and go big to small, because it ain't gonna work. So it's always good to have something like that. It's always good to have like one of these little candles uh, this little candle right here burnt for about 12 to, I think it says 12 to 14 hours. Um, I've had these things for years. They, they do work. Um, matches. Um, if you buy these things, you get them in uh, uh, Walmart for 88 cents, I think it is, for the 300 for the big box. Um, I'd suggest leave them in plastic or actually take it and put them in a plastic bag along with your waterproof matches and your Strike Anywhere matches this way here. They're always dry. Put those down in there. Put your lighter. Now I also carry along with me um, <clears throat> my cotton balls that I, I've talked about in a couple of my videos. Uh, I take cotton balls and I put Vaseline on them and uh, coat them really well and then I shove them into these old medicine bottles that were my mother-in-law's. And uh, they actually work really perfect because they have the real you know they're hard to you can't just take and uh, twist it off you know it's one of those like childproof type deals um, but you know you can cram quite a few in here uh, this one I have been using this is the one that I took on my trip when we went up north uh, I have used quite a few out of this one here I've got to replenish uh, but you can shove um, the other ones that I have in my packs that are ready to go right now there's 30 cotton balls in that little jar that's 30 fires. That is a bonus. All right, um, I picked up these. Um, I've, I've seen them on uh, a couple of uh, YouTube channels. They talk about them. And uh, so I was really curious about this thing. So, because uh, I saw that, you know, they really did work and, and uh, they started some fires. So I was pretty, you know, pretty, pretty impressed. Um, Phariseean uh, lens, it's just a plastic lens. It magnifies and you use the magnification. 
don't know if you can see what it does on the table there, just the light in the room. But you use the sun to do that. You also get a ruler. And if you had to read something really small, um, it takes and breaks that out and so you can read it. I'd slide one of those into your pack also. The last two things we have here, and I would suggest that most people really get to know how to use. Um, like I said in one of my other videos, uh, down here in Florida, it's very hard to get uh, um, fat wood, you know, to go harvest it myself because uh, lack of pine trees. Um, if you live up north, uh, you have an abundance of it. Go out there, find it, and you can get it for free. For the rest of us that don't live where there is um, pine trees, um, I know one of the guys that I watch, uh, uh, Drop Forge Survival, uh, he's in Texas, he's in the same boat. He doesn't have pine trees, so he did a trip and went up north, and he harvested a whole bunch of it and brought it back. But these here, this is fatwood, you buy in a store, you buy it in a bag, uh, it's like uh, 10 bucks or so, and you get a whole bunch of it. You know, but you'd want to take this, and yes, you could take and get these things and get them in there and get a fire going. But, you know, I'd take your knife, shave it down really good, and get you some shavings. And this way here, you know, two or three pieces of this should last you for a little while. <clears throat> and then once you take and do that, you know, these are going to fit in here. I'm going to have to put those. We can show those. We got plenty of room. Once they can do those, you have your rod here and your striker. So this way here, once you get that all set and you get them all shredded out and everything else, or with your cotton balls, you can use this to start your fire. You get your sparks. It works really well. Um, it's very easy to do. Um, and but I would suggest that everybody practice with this before you get out there in the field so you're comfortable doing this and getting the fire going but you, everybody should have one of these in your emergency backpacks in case the water gets to your lighter your matches and anything else so that is our emergency backpack now like I said you can take this pack put it in your car keep it inside ready to go you know, it's really good uh, to have on hand. Uh, it's all part of my grab and go uh, series that I'm going to be doing. Um, I also do think that you would want to have one of these uh, on hand for like your kids, like I've talked about, um, and have like their clothes, a stuffed animal, and you know, some food or something in there for them so they kind of feel, you know, you can keep it under, you know, five, six pounds so it's not real too heavy for them. And then you, ha you have the rest of the supplies for your family. Um, I just want to do a quick video today. Um, I want to thank everybody for everything you do for my channel. I want to thank you for viewing all my videos, for liking them, for sharing, uh, for subscribing to my channel. Thank all my subscribers. Thank you very much. Um, I'm slowly getting there. I'm starting to grow. I'm trying to turn out uh, better videos as I'm going along to keep people interested. Um, but once again, thank you very much. This, I'm Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side. Oh, 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 oh,